you to watch my mouth closely as I make this sound because I'm going to ask you to describe what my mouth looks like. Are you ready? Let me make it one more time. Did you watch my mouth? What was moving when I made that sound? My lips or my tongue? Right, my lips. Was my mouth open the whole time? Was it closed the whole time? Or was it both? If you said my mouth started closed and then opened at the end, you're exactly right. You try to make that sound for me. And while you're doing that, go ahead and stick your hand in front of your mouth and see if you feel anything. Hopefully, you were able to feel a burst of air coming out of your mouth as your lips popped open. Your lips start closed and pop open. And for that very reason, the letters that we're going to talk about today, we call lip poppers. Take a look at these two pictures here. I'll show them to you one at a time. And I'm going to ask you to tell me which of these pictures looks like my mouth when I make that sound. So here's the first one. Here's a picture of lips. And you see a burst of air coming out. Okay. And here's the other picture. In this picture, I can see the lips, teeth. If I look very closely, I can see a picture of the tongue in there. And then I see this big burst of air. So which of these two pictures do you think represents the lip poppers? Guess this one, you're exactly right. Remember that we talked about that the mouth, um, the lips were moving when I made that sound. I wasn't using my teeth or my tongue, and then a burst of air popped out. So now that we have this picture, I want you to think about what letter you know that makes the sound If you said the letter P, you're exactly right. P is our first lip popper. It makes the P sound, right? And we talked about noisy sounds and quiet sounds. P is our quiet lip popper. So now we need to find P's brother. What letter goes with P? What letter is also a lip popper? Let's take a look at some other letters and see if we can find the match. Let's start with this letter T. T makes the T sound. Did you see my lips pop? No, so that's probably not the right choice. Let's look at this one. Here's the letter D. D, D. Are my lips popping? No, so that's probably not right either. Let's take a look at this letter. Here's the letter B. B, B. Did you see my lips pop open? Check and see if you can feel that burst of air coming out. B, B. I can feel it. So that must be, that must be our match. So let's take a look at our set of letters here. We have our lip poppers. P is our quiet sound and B is our noisy sound, our noisy letter. And remember, we talked about, we can test that sound. So I make a p, p sound, and I put my fingers right here on my throat. P, p, I don't feel anything. B, b. I can feel my throat moving, I can feel it vibrating. So I know that B is my noisy letter. 